Hello, Aries. It looks like you're embarking on a new quest with a new person. And a previous person gets to watch. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello everyone and welcome in. This is an Aries Tarot reading. It's a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. The quest number two, plunge boldly into life. Ooh, and the call, which is number one. Okay, honor the whisper of your soul. Hmm. Okay. Someone's delving into purpose. Hard. Body and soul. This is awesome. Because this is going to get you seen by those who need to see you. Other soul bonds, friendships, you know, things like that. It's going to put you in a position where you're able to, they're, they are able to see you. Interesting. Because this quest energy with all that fire, that's that's very you. It's like you're in your elements. Plunge boldly into life. Okay. Show me what's going on with Aries, please. Show me what's going on with Aries. Five of Pentacles. Sure. Change in your physical world. Magician. Ace of Swords. Tower, Scorpio energy, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Two of Swords. Mm. Mm -hmm. I feel like as you become more seen and start to manifest, I'm reading this is you, this is them, this is the situation, something is manifesting in this connection. Um, I feel like as you're more seen, they want to come running and it's coming in as running back. Okay. So someone is shocked that you're doing well or not that you're doing well, that you're doing this well. Someone is shooketh that you are doing this well. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's been given a little time. Okay, after a lot of learn faded learned lessons, there's now change in the physical world for the better. That's great. That's great for you. So they want to run in, but it's like a knee-jerk reaction to stop. Like, hey, how's it going? You're doing really well, huh? And you're like, nah. <laughs> New number, who dis? Show me the magician, please. The situation. That five of pentacles really wanted to come out. All right. High priestess, card of Pisces, four of cups, ten of swords, eight of swords, moon, more Pisces energy, queen of pentacles. Star on the bottom, card of Aquarius. Hmm, okay. Hmm. So you have had an upturn in fortune. They have had a downturn in fortune. And as they see you rise, they see that they have missed quite the opportunity, the divinely given opportunity to make something work for with the both of you. And it ended up in something very, very painful. Someone here did not want to access the truth behind the moon. They see you as the queen of pentacles. Okay, show me the Ace of Swords for Aries, please. The Ace of Swords. Mm-hmm. Ten of Cups, Justice, Card of Libra, Nine of Swords. Your desire was very simple. The truth of your desire was very simple. You wanted you wanted the happy thing that was balanced and fair. That's that's all you that's all you wanted. And no, you weren't asking too much, but possibly asking the wrong person. Right? Possibly asking the wrong person. And you went through a whole cycle of it. 
Okay, because the 10 has already been up here. You went to ace to nine and it closed on the 10. Okay. Show me the page of wands for Aries, please. <laughs> yep. Page of Wands, Eight of Wands, World, that's fixed energy with the Two of Pentacles. So you're excited with what's happening in your life. That's happening for the better. It's coming in fast. It's coming in hot. It's awesome. Um, and you really have no question, no second guessing on what it is that's coming your way. Even if it's closing out or blocking, because this to me feels like you're done. So let's... It's going to be interesting to see what they do. Show me the Nine of Wands, please. The Lovers. Ace of Wands. The One to the Nine. The One to the Nine. This wants to come out, too. Yep. Chariot, Card of Cancer, Temperance, Card of Sag, Lovers, Card of Gemini. For those who are keeping track. Mm-hmm. It took a while for you to fly the coop on this one, but once you made the choice, you were gone. Once you made the choice, there was someone who actually requested divine assistance. For example, you could have said a prayer like, please, God, get me out of here. <laughs> Show me. Let's see what's going on with this person. Start with the tower because they're 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 shocked as shit. <laughs> like, wait, Aries. I knew Aries would do well, but they're doing better than me. What the? F yeah, show me the tower. <laughs> mm-hmm. Look who's looking good, smelling good. Queen of Wands, Knight of Cups, Ten of Wands, High Priestess. So just so you know, just so you know. However they acted, okay, however they acted in the past really doesn't matter now. But however they acted before, if they treated you as less in any kind of way, you do need to know they knew you were the star. They knew you were a significant, a fated person to meet a significant person. Okay, they, they knew but I love how you're coming up as the Queen of Wands over here because it's it's almost like um, it's like that entrance with uh, Jane Russell and Marilyn Monroe and gentlemen prefer blondes when they come in and Marilyn's wearing the orange dress and Jane Russell I think is wearing the black dress and they just walk in and the whole room kind of stops and turns and looks at them. It's kind of that vibe when you walk through the door or they see you in whatever kind of way, whether they see you on television, online, whatever. Um they it's it's that wait what it's that record scratch <laughs> turn in <gasps> that's i mean but you need to know they knew you you were a soul bond show me the knight of wands and they still acted the way they acted so you know show me the knight of wands please I fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, shit. It was love. Mm. Lovers again. Five of Cups, Eight of Swords, Ace of Wands, Lovers, Five of Wands. Other people were allowed to get in the way of the connection. I'm not getting this as an internal struggle. There is some of that for the tower to blow through, but... This, there, there was also external that they allowed. There's internal here, external here. <laughs> Give that shit, I fucked up. <laughs> yeah, and now I see. It was love. Show me the two of swords. Mm-hmm. King of wands. Three, yep. Three of swords. Empress there on the bottom. So you learn the lesson. So you, you you got to grow. You got to grow and evolve. And this is when their realization of it's like when they see you again, they that's when they fully understand what happened. Because I don't see you running over to them like if this is if they see you in public and the tower hits. I don't see you running over like, 
Oh, hey, what's going on? How are you? I don't see any of that. I see you coming in, whether it's posting online or entering the room and they and they are physically standing there. You're a showstopper. You're 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 an absolute showstopper. It's there's no reason to walk over and speak to this person. Not saying you should be a jerk, not saying you should snub them, but the cycle is closed. There's no reason to go back to the past for anything. And once they realize everything in real time when they see you, that's when their heartbreak happens. Because now they see the situation for what it is. They saw you for the kind of bond you were, but for some reason didn't have the whole situation down. Can you tell me a little more about that, please? It's like, uh, I didn't know I had the goose that laid the golden eggs. I just thought I had a goose. <laughs> like any, any goose kind of thing. Not to compare you to a goose, but you know what I'm saying. Ah... Uh... Ace of Coins, Alchemist, World, Fixed Energy again, Empress, Nine of Cups. Now they see what they didn't see before. They see that you're their divine counterpart. That they both, you're, you're the feminine they've always wanted. You're the feminine they always wanted, but resisted without hesitation. Resisted, resisted. This could have been the easiest thing in the world to manifest. The absolute easiest thing. The absolute easiest thing to make real. Okay. Okay. So, what does Aries want? What does Aries want? Does Aries want to speak to this person one more time? Do they want someone new? Show me, please. Hmm. Strong soul bond. You don't want this person. You associate them with uh, immature toxicity. Seven of Wands, Knight of Wands, Devil, Card of Capricorn. You want the beautiful thing that can, where you can safely move your heart forward into something uh, stable and lovely. Four of Wands, possibly wanting a soul bond slash twin flame kind of thing. Um, that's possible. You would, you would like to advance your heart space in something deeply meaningful. And you specifically do not want this person. So we're going to find you someone new. That means this empress is looking for their emperor. Hopefully they're not too far out. Can you show me a little bit about the emperor? Ooh, he's stable and he's looking. <laughs> he's looking for it. Ah, he's looking for his dream. Can't see you yet. Can't see you yet. But looking. Still looking. Wanting the new. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, still wanting the new. Doesn't see you yet. But he's looking. He's looking for you. All right. On that note. <laughs> so, a little bit of karmic justice here, right? Okay, and you actually get to be a part of it. That doesn't always happen, right? Usually karmic justice is meted out by someone else the past person meets in the future. But here you actually get to be part part of the catalyst so congrats to aries i'm gonna head over to the extended i'm gonna see what's going on with the semper i'm gonna see what's going on with him in his current energy his near future and the final outcome of the connection between you and this lifetime so if you're interested in any of that information along with messages from spirit about the connection at this point in time messages between you as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below, and I will see you guys over there. Bye!